exercise for mold design. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at the functionality inside SolidWorks for the mold tools. And we're going to go through the insert mold folders, parting lines, shutoff surfaces, parting surfaces, and tooling split generation here. And as you can see here, this is one that's already created. And you could isolate these components to take a closer look at them after they're completed. Um, as we've seen in exercise three, we saw the traditional old method. You might say that was we were using back when SOLIDWORKS first came out in the 90s, uh, which is still a method that is very useful in the event that this method fails to create the split. And as we can see here, I'm just going to right click on these and isolate them. And you can see the cavity in the core and the part is inside there as well. So if we uh, exit isolate there. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to first start off by oops, put the wrong watch. I'm bringing up the mouse cover. I don't want to go through feature recognition. And what you do is you start off, make sure your mold tools toolbar is on. The way to get this on is just right click on any of the tabs and find mold tools and check it on. Then it should appear. You just click on the tab. And you basically, um, I would recommend scaling it if you need to right now at this point. If you're going to put a shrinkage compensation on it, um, you can put that on. But in the meantime, we're just going to go right to Insert Mold Folders. And we just work our way across. It's actually a very nice system. Just click on Insert Mold Folders. It doesn't look like anything's occurred, but in fact, it, it has. Now we go to Parting Lines. Now with this, we could run the draft analysis, but we first have to select the direction of pull. In this case, uh, the parting line is flat or planar. We could just select the parting line. We could have selected the top of the part, too. It doesn't really matter, just as long as it's uh, in alignment. And hit Draft Analysis. And in this case, you could see where draft is required. Um, and in this case, uh, there's some regions here that should be addressed, as we discussed in the last exercise how to correct that. So we're not going to bother with that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. And now you have this parting line. That's that blue edge that you see there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the next one on the list. Remember, we started with insert mold. Now we only with the parting line. Now we're going to go to shut off surfaces. Shut off surfaces is a very nice tool. It automatically tries to calculate where these loops would be created and so on and so forth. You can help them along if you need to. I'm just going to go with the automatic options here and just hit the green check mark. And it should patch all those different pockets and holes there. Now we could go to the parting surfaces. Go ahead and click on parting surfaces and it will take that uh, parting line, and then you can see you can spread it out a bit further. In this case, I'm going to just go at 0.82. Now I'm going to hit the green check mark, and now we go to tooling split. Now for tooling split, it's a bit confusing. Um, it looks like you're just in an ordinary sketch, and in fact, you kind of are. Um, but you need to select the planar face, and if it's a planar parting line, it's very easy to just select this face here. And once you've got that face selected, exit the sketch. And that's where confusion could occur. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. You don't want to exit the sketch now. I'm sorry. Um, one thing, just make sure this face is selected. And we're just going to hit Convert Entities. We're going to convert the outer edges and use those edges for our mold. Be aware that you could draw a rectangle inside there. You don't have to use the edges. I'm just doing it because it's quick. And hit the, uh, uh, go ahead and hit this exit sketch. And then it immediately it starts to split your part, um, or the, the mold. You'll see that it's creating a base as well as a top. And you could adjust these to your desired thicknesses. As you can see over here, they have the size as 1 inch and 0.25 we'll put in there. And you see the core, cavity, and parting surface. Go ahead and hit the green check mark. And now it actually is done. Um, at this point, we could go to the solid bodies and we could look at tooling split two and isolate it. And there is the cavity of the core. Hit exit isolate. Right click on tooling split here. And you could go to isolate. And now you can see the cavity side. 
And remember, you have the ability to adjust those edges where it's going to go ahead and split that. <clears throat> I just went with the defaults, which might not be the best in all cases, especially in this case. But that concludes exercise four.